Good evening. As we consider President Biden's State of the Union Address, I think we should consider what we expect from the federal government and how the President and his administration are not meeting those expectations at all. There are solid reasons why more than 40% of Americans say they are worse off today than when President Biden took office, and why more than 70% of Americans believe the nation is on the wrong track. Despite the President's telling, I believe the concerns felt by many Mississippians and their fellow Americans are rooted in whether we feel secure in our homes, in our communities, in our futures, and as a nation. Let's consider. Do we feel secure when we see our strong military subjected to political correctness as our adversaries grow emboldened enough to float a spy balloon across the country? Do we feel secure when we're forced to ask tyrants in Iran, Venezuela, and elsewhere for oil while our strategic petroleum reserve is sapped and American energy production is restricted? Do we feel secure when we see U.S. border security fail, resulting in more than 4.6 million illegal border crossings in just two years and record levels of fentanyl crossing across the border and into our communities? Do we feel secure when we see law enforcement diminish while violent crime rates escalate from coast to coast? As we deal with our everyday lives, do we feel secure as inflation, fueled by runaway federal spending, wipes out wage gains for 22 straight months, stretching our paychecks and eroding our savings? Given all that, the President surely understands why so many Americans don't feel secure. At the start of his term two years ago, President Biden promised to unite American people, a noble goal, in order to achieve that, I believe it's imperative that he adjust his outlook, abandon his my way or the highway governing style, and truly work with us to turn the country around and restore a sense of security that we expect as citizens of this great nation. Thank you, and God bless America.